Today's episode, I have decided I'm going to dedicate to my female audience who have supported me in building up my YouTube channel. In the past, and on multiple occasions, women have asked me just what is it with men and video games? How can these grown-up adult men spend hour upon hour playing these video games? And when I explain it to them like this, they have told me this makes perfect sense. Video games are a sanctuary for modern men. Video games offer a man a place to express his natural masculinity, his inner drives, his natural energies, to become better, stronger, to build, to achieve. Video games offer a place or a way for a man to express these natural drives. Try to think of a video game and try to see it through a man's perspective. You're a questing knight. You wield a sword. You fight the orcs. You gain skills. You gain levels. You become more proficient. Finally, you can slay a troll by yourself. You're becoming stronger and better and you're significant. And modern video games often have very rich storylines. Do I join that faction or do, I do, or do I join this other faction? You affect the storyline. Your choices matter. You're helping build an empire. You're significant. Or perhaps in another video game, you're a fighter ace. You fly an airplane. You fly a jet. Perhaps you fly a spaceship. And you're an ace. You're very important. Modern civilization and the modern workforce and modern education is not really supporting of natural masculine drives. The joke with the modern workforce is how often do people get jobs because they know somebody and has nothing to do with their ability. It's not a meritocracy. Or suffering punishment or losing job opportunities for being too skilled and thus being overqualified. That is a danger in the modern workforce is becoming overqualified. If you get that upgrade, you take that course, they have to pay you more and they're not willing to do that. So you stay at a low level. You're not improving yourself as a person. Let me use a metaphor. Imagine taking up a martial art. You get your white belt. Then you work up to your yellow belt. Then you work up to your orange belt. And then you're told you have to stop. You're not allowed to get your red belt, your green belt, your brown belt, and finally the black belt. You're not allowed to pro progress past the orange belt. Orange level, you're proficient, you're non-expert. You're being discouraged from becoming a grandmaster or an expert. You're being discouraged from bettering yourself. Now, I'm going to ask my female audience to try to put yourself 
in the shoes of the men in your life. Remember, men, we have a lot of testosterone flowing through our veins. This is a driving force in men to develop, to grow, to build, to conquer. It's a natural force. That society doesn't really give us the ability to express. You go to work, it's not a meritocracy. You're being discouraged from bettering oneself. You often get jobs because of people you know. It's not because of your merit. And with modern employment, how often and how easy do people lose their jobs? How often do you do cutbacks or downsizing? This is very degrading and humiliating to both men and women. But remember, men very often drive more of their self-worth with the jobs that they do. And since that's on a large extent being taken away and the value of that is being reduced with automation men don't really have a place to express this natural drive so when a man comes home after a defeating day at work or the monotony of our modern education system Playing video games is a sanctuary. He can develop himself, build himself up, and do things that are significant in a video game. Yes, video games aren't reality. But a man can express himself and develop himself. Thought. A video game is only a simulation. He gets the sense of developing himself. And it's not just combat video games. Video games, you can build cities. You can build buildings. You can construct civilizations. These video games enable a man to plan and see the consequences of his planning. This is very rewarding. I will build this and I will build that. What are the consequences? Where perhaps at work, he's dealing with middle management, micromanagers, backstabbing employees, annoying customers. When he comes home from a defeating day at work, he can build a city. He can build a civilization. He can plan, build, develop, and he can see the results of his decisions. And this is rewarding, seeing your civilization build. The modern workforce doesn't really offer this. Even in higher education, it's, well, this course has this many creds, and that course has that many creds, and... This course is recognized by that school, but not by that school. And to gain that grade, you require this. Now it requires that. And, you know, modern education, there's not, it doesn't really appeal to a lot of men anymore. So when a man comes home feeling defeated, he can go online and play a multiplayer video game where he's part of a team. The team has to talk. They have to communicate. They have to work towards goals. The goals are clear and precise. They have to slay the dragon. They have to retrieve the treasure. This quest has meaning. It gives them meaning. It gives them a goal to work towards. It is a challenging goal. 
more than that of listening to irritating customers or listening to someone else make the same mistake repeatedly. No, no, no. You're on a quest and you're working towards that goal and you're, and you're working with a team that you desire and have chosen to be a part of. It's not uncommon for men to create or join guilds and work with people that they are f- friends with. This is not always typical in the modern society where very often you're surrounded by strangers or have to deal with strangers. And the goals and objectives are very unpacific. Where with video games, they become very precise, very directed, and significant. So the question is, how do we as a civilization engage our men? It's self-evident that they're wasting their energies. I myself don't play a lot of video games. I'm very, very busy. And sadly, this is not very typical for a lot of modern men. So how can modern civilization engage men to direct their energies towards something productive, helpful, and useful? or something that will give them meaning in their lives and purpose to work towards. So this is a question I'm going to ask my female audience. How can our civilization motivate men to be productive, happy individuals in our society and to not drop out of society And to not be underachievers. But how do we engage them to direct their energies towards something positive, constructive, and meaningful. And something that will give them drive and motivation and joy in their lives. That is the question.